With less than a week until the launch and start of the Trailblazer League, now is a better time than ever to start planning your strategy, route and goals. I've compiled the top 5 resources for any player looking to up their game before and during the Trailblazer League. Before we get into it, I'd like to quickly thank you all for the support on previous videos, and if you're keen for more Trailblazer content, make sure you subscribe for when I start live streaming it here on YouTube. For the first few resources, these are all Google Drive based, so make sure to click File, then make a copy to be able to edit them yourself. Let's start with number 5, the Slayer Task List Calculator. Created by Jerkowski, this spreadsheet lets you calculate what tasks will be available to you given your region choices. By creating your own copy, you can play around with it and see what options you'll have available to you. This is great if you're wondering what sort of slay unique items you'll have access to, such as a granite mole from Gargoyles or a Kraken Tentacle from Cave Kraken. It also tells you the additional requirements. However, Mod Husky has stated these might not be exactly accurate. Next up in number 4, we have the Trailblazer League Clues Calculator by Apex Pepper. Again, by creating a copy of this spreadsheet, you'll be able to edit your chosen regions. This calculator is great for people looking to hunt clues within the Trailblazer League, as it lets you pick the most optimal setup for finishing clues. If there is a lot of tasks related to clue items, it might be a viable strategy to focus on clues. The Clue Relic toggle assumes that the Tier 4 Relic 2 Relic is a clue relic and that it guarantees minimal clue steps, similar to Twisted League. As a little bonus for you, I found that currently the highest percent chance to complete a clue, on average, for all tiers is Asgarnia, Kandarin, and Desert Regions. Third up, we have the Trailblazer Equipment Matrix, made by Jenga. Just like the first two, you'll want to make your own copy to edit and play around with. While this doesn't list any equipment from the starting regions, you'll be able to find out what gear you'll have available to you. Apart from letting us know gear, this resource actually goes above and beyond by even providing a list of the tools and extras, such as dragon tools, a cannon, guild access, and more. Second place goes to the OSRS League's Discord. This server has thousands of members and a very dedicated staff team compiling all sorts of League's resources including the previous ones mentioned in this video. The server also collects all possible information given out by the JMods during their live streams or Twitter posts and brings it all to one extremely useful place. Another awesome thing the team have done is deconstruct the GIFs released by Jagex to create an easy to look at reference for every zone. The Discord's invite link is going to be in the description. I really suggest you go down, check them out and say hi. Coming in first place, we have the Old School RuneScape Wiki. The team behind this wiki are some of the most dedicated people out there, working extremely hard to bring you accurate and useful information about everything within Old School RuneScape. Recently, the wiki team have worked extremely hard to map out spawns of every item's location and what Trailblazer region they'll be in. This is going to be extremely useful for players, so once again, huge props to them for their work. Obviously, I'll still leave a link to the wiki in my description, but you're really missing out if you haven't used the OSRS wiki yet. And that wraps it up. I know it's a short video, so thank you for sticking around. I hope you find some of these resources helpful. If you've got any more, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next vid.